In the heart of gold country, it's a hiker's paradise. More than 900,000 people visit the Auburn State Recreation Area every year. Visitors here are free to explore and roam the steep canyon sides, trek along the north and middle fork of the American River, and walk through grassy meadows. But there's one place that Park Superintendent Mike Howard says is off limits, and that's the mountain quarry's mine, Hover Cave. It's actually a crime to enter this cave. It is? Yes. Okay, unless we're with you. Correct. This <laughs> It's dangerous inside the mine. Behind the thick steel gates is a maze of flooded tunnels, dark caverns, and steep drop-offs. Ah, there goes my head. Oh, and did I mention, it also has cave creatures. To name a few of them, saber-toothed uh, cat, woolly mammoth, uh, dire wolf, uh, three different kind of ground slots. Manut Shivanian is a member of the Canyon Keepers, an education and preservation group. He says before this was a limestone mine, it was actually a natural cave that trapped animals from the Pleistocene era. Prehistoric animals most likely got trapped in this area as they were roaming in different caves. The bones of the prehistoric creatures were originally discovered by a group of kids. They were exploring the cave back in 1906, and at the time, it wasn't easily accessible. We believe this could have been one of his access points to the cave. Exploring the caves by candlelights, the kids found the bones and ended up taking them to this man, J.C. Haver. Who was a local dentist and an amateur paleontologist. With the help of real paleontologists at UC Berkeley, J.C. Haver started digging and exploring the cave. He found a total of nine different animals, prehistoric animals such as woolly mammoth and uh, different slots, ground slots. The odd bones made headlines in newspapers all over. Eventually, the cave was even named after Mr. Haver. But the scientific discoveries were cut short. In 1910, Haver Cave turned into Mountain Quarry's limestone mine. Those days, the limestone was used for processing sugar beets and then also road base. Many of the surrounding roads and bridges were actually built using limestone from this mine. But in the late 1960s, the Mountain Quarry mine shut down. Today, State Parks manages the cave. Do you suppose there's any cave creatures down here? Let's go find out. Plans to open up the cave for public tours are still in the works, but the canyon keepers have already surveyed and mapped out potential routes. We call it Tall Room. The Tall Room. The Tall Room, uh, yes. For obvious reasons? Because it's 160 feet, <laughs> yeah. Future tours will include information on geology, limestone mining, and yes, cave creatures, past and present. I promise you that we will see a living animal here, and you're looking at this brown net looking animal. Don't let it bite you. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Did I mention the tour includes bad humor? The so-called animals actually live in Haver Lake, an 80 foot deep pool of water at the end of the cave. And it is called Colonial Bryozoan. That Colonial Bryozoan. It lives in the dark and in the water and is common in the dark caves. The Auburn State Recreation Area is a hiker's paradise with miles of trails to explore. And hopefully someday soon, those trails will lead inside the Haver Cave. Tight squeeze. I'm John Bartell. Hope to see you on the back road.